I'm sorry, y'all. I'm messy. I swear I'm about to go to bed. But like, y'all said that DDG and Hallie broke up. Like, he's not the man that embarrassed her while she was on a press tour for The Little Mermaid to the point where Disney had to push back the second trailer release because he was embarrassing her with Ruby Rose. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna leave it alone, but I wish that they never would have casted Halle Bailey to play the mermaid. And I low key wish that they would have just kept her white and left black people. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. I just feel like in hindsight, like it was, you know, in the beginning, yes, I was happy that a black woman was playing this role. But I just feel like that moment was taken away from us because of Halle's personal life. And let's be very clear, she allowed for that moment to be taken away from us. And that's why I don't with her the way that she has allowed for this ingrate this degenerate what's his name d d d um b e t -E. way she has allowed this man to center himself throughout her career like it, it really is pathetic i just don't i don't respect her i'm i'm honestly side-eyeing her parents her mother and her father especially i'm just like what kind of what the what are y'all teaching y'all daughter hey guys it's your girl brandy aka brandy four welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you are new here I do a lot of videos on pop culture, Love Island, etc, etc. Let's get into it. Came back on YouTube because I definitely wanted to talk about this specific topic because quite frankly, there's been a lot of discourse, a lot to the point where I'm like, all right, guys, like, let's actually just calm down and mind our business. <laughs> Honestly, I do want to talk about it because I don't know, I think we kind of just need to take a step back and ask ourselves like why do we care so much obviously as someone who is very obsessed with celebrities and just pop culture in general i am very much invested in the lives of celebrities but not to the point where like i take whatever they do in their lives personally especially with all this stuff happening with diddy and now recently with young philly and entire hollywood just being exposed i'm not too surprised when i hear about just anything going on with celebrity quite frankly i cannot as you know a normal human being who isn't famous connect to a celebrity because of just how different they are from us so i'm kind of like whatever a celebrity got going on in their life that is their business i personally can't connect to it right now it was kind of just entertainment in my eyes so whatever goes on in their life if it becomes public news and public knowledge especially like whatever's going on in their personal lives i'm kind of just like oh okay that happened anyways <laughs> what y'all having for lunch because i'm a grown-ass woman and i don't got time to be twiddling my thumbs on what's happening in someone's life but anyways i wanted to talk about obviously ddg and Halle bailey because what last week or a week or two ago i don't know ddg announced on his stories that hallie and ddg are no longer together and obviously everyone is very upset about it mainly because recently ddg has been posting both hallie and his baby halo um on his tiktok quite often and because the baby is so dang cute that baby is so cute <laughs> because we've been seeing him post about the baby more and more obviously in our minds we're like despite knowing everything that happened before Hallie got pregnant when their relationship just became public it's some toxic drama going on for instance when ddg and Hallie bailey they got into an argument ddg actually admitted to messaging ruby rose his ex um just to get Halle Bailey mad so ever since that happened everyone just did not f with DDG because of that because it's kind of like why are you being petty and then on top of that with the Little Mermaid coming out and this being a huge break for Halle Bailey because obviously it's a Disney movie and it did extremely well in the box office when she was going on her press tour for little mermaid he was also putting out songs about how he was jealous of her kissing her co-star so everybody was kind of like why is this man trying to dim Halle bailey's light so that was a whole other thing within itself but yes people were already just not feeling ddg and then on top of that seeing as Halle bailey was going on her press tour for little mermaid you can clearly see that she was trying to hide her stomach in multiple situations and we all just kind of peeped like girl you're pregnant <laughs> everybody was like dang great of course this man gets her pregnant 
when she is at the height of her career of course this happens this is literally when she's supposed to just be out doing everything just promoting herself promoting her work putting out more music in general but people were bl blaming ddg so that meant you know this was like a hindrance to her entire career so everybody was already so upset over that quite frankly as someone who has followed Halle bailey um for a couple years now i would say since the pandemic honestly like i really started getting into her and chloe's music i was like dang that sucks that i'm not and that's the thing it's like i'm curious to see how her career would have been different if she didn't get pregnant um at the height of it that being said it's kind of like what difference does it make like i don't know what difference does it make she still has a very successful movie the music is still pretty popping her chloe and halle album still popping so i don't know who am i to just be judging the fact that she had a baby around this time so yeah that being said like since you know we all found out she was pregnant then she ended up having halo in december of 2023 and then around this time you can tell ddg and halle bailey they were still like hiding halo's face and putting like emojis on his face when they would post on instagram people would be so upset about it and just be like what's the point of posting him if you're not even gonna show his face you're just seeking attention da -da 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 -da. and then eventually ddg is like whatever since ddg he is a youtuber like he's going to vlog his life like this is his career this is how he makes money and honestly this is why he's even richer than Halle. he relatively recently started posting halo a lot to the point where a halo is like a new meme but halo is so cute so it was kind of just like whatever he posts about halo like nobody can hate because the baby is so dang cute <laughs> that baby looks just like Halle bailey everyone obviously has their opinions on that especially with i guess like child labor laws and it's very like finicky in terms of like having you know mommy daddy vloggers posting their infant child just for some likes and views which you know obviously leads to monetization so yes everybody's already like up in arms about that and so people are kind of assuming that because Hallie she doesn't do the same thing where she's like posting Halo all the time like how DDG is doing that that's something that they're probably bumping heads about but again this is an assumption we don't actually know <laughs> because we don't know these people because ddg was posting halo more and obviously halo is such a cute child so everybody is just like oh my gosh for the sake of this adorable ass child i truly hope that ddg and halle bailey work out and you know are one big happy family despite what everyone initially thought about ddg honestly it's really because of how cute the baby is and the fact that ddg is posting him just as a dad so people started to grow to like him hallie and ddg were not married so this was also a whole other topic within itself not only did she have a baby um during the height of her career but also she was she had a baby out of wedlock like she was not married to ddg didn't seem like they were planning on getting married i even saw a video where she had admitted that ddg was like her first real relationship um like she's had relationships in the past like in high school or something but like ddg is like her actual real relationship so this was already something that everybody especially black women were just so upset about how could you have a baby at the height of your career and you're not even you don't even have a ring so people were like getting you know getting on hallie about that so when the news broke that ddg and hallie are no longer together everyone was so upset everyone was so upset you know i'm gonna say what i'm gonna say and i know some people are gonna have a problem with it but that's okay because it's my opinion and i know that i may be projecting but it is what it is but i wanted better for halle berry not halle berry what's that what's that girl name halle bailey this is where people are going to come in. Well, what's wrong with being a baby mom? So what's wrong with being having a baby out of wedlock? No, 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 no. Let's just call a spade a spade. I want it better for that girl because she just, she just exuded a different energy than LA and celebrity and pop culture was seeing. She was the little mermaid, right? This girl was a princess. Like she exuded class. She exuded just an energy that I had yet to see in recent years and it was very refreshing and I feel like she let DDG get her like I felt like she let 
him trap her. And that's, I know that's probably not how everything went down, but like, she, she she's the one, she took the L in this situation. It works out for him for her to be his baby moms. Like he won in that situation. But let's not forget that he was like in some drama with texting his ex when he got mad at Hallie one day, right? Like he was never nothing. He may be a great dad and they may like move forward and be great parents or even reattempt their relationship. But like, like she has a baby now, you know, like she, her life has changed. Her trajectory has changed and it could be for the better, but like, I just wanted a little bit better for her because I felt like she was, she was different. And let me just clarify that it is not that I feel like she does not have class. It is just that she is now in a unclassy situation because she has a clown as a baby father and she stuck with him take that as you will my opinion when i heard the news i was disappointed i'm not gonna lie especially you know considering i've been watching a, a lot of ddg's tiktoks of the baby because that made me so cute so when i did hear that they weren't together anymore i was very like dang that sucks i wasn't like oh my gosh this happened no way i'm not that surprised <laughs> i'm not that surprised not gonna hold you especially considering the relationship started in such a toxic way so not that surprised in how it ended i mean i don't know how it ended but i'm just not surprised but it's still just like a dang another one bites the dust <laughs> kind of situation but however considering the fact that i don't know these people i kind of just like whatever Halle bailey ddg they're both rich they're millionaires so i'm sure they can figure out the best way to co-parent i'm hoping they can figure this out but at the end of the day we don't know these people so when i see people on the internet just go in on poor hallie and it's just like you see, you see what happens when you let a guy get you knocked up. You see what happens. What this is why black women we need to have a ring on our finger. Da da da. da. Please, 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 please. I'm gonna need us all to like take a step back and stop projecting. <laughs> Let's just take a step back. Granted, I totally understand the frustration. It is like an annoying situation. If only they could have just worked hard at it. Like obviously we all wanna see that ideal, typical nuclear family. We've always wanted that for ourselves. So now that we see these celebrities who um, are, I guess in a much better situation than we are because they're not worrying about the normal people things that we have to deal with like finances and opportunities so it's kind of like okay they have all of that they have the stability financially so why can't they just figure it out why can't they just work this out however i feel like we really need to just take a step back and remember that hallie she's in her early 20s right how old is she well i'm 27 she's yeah she's like 24 She's in her early 20s. People in their 20s, they're going to make, I don't even know if I would call this a mistake because she has a beautiful baby. Like a beautiful baby came out of the situation. So I think we need to like also think about that. Okay, yes, it's unfortunate that I guess she is another statistic in terms of, oh great, another black woman having a baby out of wedlock, now having to, you know, be a co-parent to their black baby father. Um, however, like, let's also look at it in a, oh, but she still got a beautiful baby out of this experience. And from what Chloe was saying, I think they were like on a live one time and Chloe was kind of like, yeah, I already knew Hallie was going to have a baby in her twenties cause she's always talked about it. So this was just already something that she was planning on doing. So for us or not really me, but for a lot of black women specifically to be so harsh and just to i don't know you we're we're kind of hard on her and it's kind of like i get it but no one is perfect and i hate when people are like couldn't be me couldn't be me i couldn't have a baby with just um a guy that i'm not married to couldn't be me couldn't be me you don't know that that couldn't be you unless you're in the situation like you don't know you don't know their relationship 
you don't know their relationship they could have had so many talks just like talking about building the family you don't know her stance on marriage you don't know you cannot put people in a box just because you feel the way you do i personally would not have a baby out of wedlock well i don't want to anyway if it happens however it happens but that's not like my goal in life however people don't seem to like yes you can always plan a baby like you can technically plan a baby but also you can't at the same time sometimes people don't find out that they're pregnant until it's too late i've heard a lot of stories of women not finding out that they're pregnant until like three months in and at that point it's too late to abort abort <laughs> again we need to like look at this through a bigger lens rather than just projecting our own feelings on the situation because not everyone thinks the way you think that everyone feels the way you feel I, I would like it for black people black couples in general to especially young couples at that to wait to have a baby until they are in a very stable relationship um, to the point where it does lead to marriage marriage doesn't always mean stability however and that's another thing that we don't you know think about as well people are like oh i need to wait till i'm married I'm, it's like yes the idea of marriage and babies that does call for a more stable life rather than just like having a baby with your boyfriend however does that mean that your life will be more stable no it doesn't mean that so it's kind of like we can't really i don't know we can't just be too hard on women who ends up having babies out of wedlock like life does not work out how we plan i hate to break it to y'all so we are thinking that oh Halle bailey she made a dumb mistake blah 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 but it's kind of like do we actually know what went on <laughs> we don't know what what led to this moment we don't know because we don't know these people we don't know these people it's like yes ddg like he puts all their business out well he puts as much business he can out there as possible because it is his career and this is also kind of why i'm just like yeah you see this is why i have an issue with just influencer stuff in general because i'm like yo you see now when you give too much when you show too much now um when it's time that you want to retract people are going to be like well you showed all this so we can have an opinion on it i mean just like how i'm having an opinion on it but i'm more so just having an opinion on just the discourse around it because i do think it's getting to be a bit much like i understand where people are coming from but like y'all it's not your life <laughs> like if you don't agree with it like fine whatever but like to make whole tiktoks literally like going in on hallie like hallie is dumb could it be me she's stupid what did you think it's just doing too much it's doing way too much like don't be that person because you never know if that could happen to you. You never know if that could end up being your situation. That's how I see it. It's like, I get it. I understand. It is an unfortunate situation, especially considering Halo is what, like 10 months old. So that is very unfortunate. But it's better to know now that like you and your baby dad aren't meant to be than to be with that baby dad for the sake of the child. Like, who wants to do that? Like, no, that's not, that's not a good situation for anyone. <laughs> that's not a good situation. So it's kind of like, regardless, it's a lose-lose situation. You have to choose your battles in this case. Overall, I just think everyone needs to calm down. Keep their, I'm not going to say keep their, your opinions to yourself because everyone has a right to their opinion. It's like, I, just like how I have a right to my opinion on this situation. But it's kind of just like, be a bit more understanding of her situation. Like, I get that she's rich and famous, but she's also a human being and she's also in her early 20s just saying so that is all i have to say on this topic but let me know what you guys think in the comments below on whatever i just said do you agree with this course do you think it's a bit much um i don't know let me know like this video and subscribe to your girl brittany for for more content i'm going to be posting more i'm gonna be posting more because uh, yeah i feel like now that i finally got my license which you know that's mainly the reason why I have not been posting, to be honest, because I'm like, I, I have to focus on one thing at a time. I was doing my license. Right now, I'm also learning how to swim. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff in my 20s, in my late 20s at that. I'm trying to learn things, okay, that I did not get to learn as a child. So 
please bear with me but now that i have a bit more time a bit more time i can post more so yes Please make sure to subscribe and let me know what else you want me to talk about. Because um, yeah, I love talking about pop culture.